Well, welcome back. Uh, we're shooting our crossbows, getting ready for the velvet hunt, and for everybody who was wanting to know what Chris was going to on the next bow that he was going to buy, well, Aaron. here we go. Ready. What we got here? Baron 10th CD, 400 foot per second. It actually, on average from the reviews, actually chronos that between 405 and 409, which is pretty impressive. But I basically everything stock other than throwing some limb saver stuff like that on there. But it's a quick bow. It's a real quick bow. Well, let's see what it'll do down range. It's probably 20 yards. Okay, dead center, uh, about an inch high. Yeah, it's about probably an inch, a little inch, high. Inch and a half high. You might want to drop it down. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I uh, can see it. Drop it down about six. Yeah. Now we changed. Uh, he changed his string on that one, and but he left his cable the same. 60, 60 x 60x custom strings. And uh, cables are the cables are pretty good, but I, I don't trust the factory strings from a lot of brands because they will fray too easily, and they just uh, but it's bad stuff. So if you're wondering what they are. Yeah. It's uh, 60 extreme custom strings, and you see I got the one for my Lisa 405, yeah. and I'm on a pepper one down range. Look at little Miss Abby take a shot here too. Let's see. There we go. That's about 20 yards, so I'm gonna get the range finder and we're gonna go back to what you say, about 40. That's where it really matters. Yeah, so we're gonna go back to about 40 and we'll see you yeah. here in a minute. All right, 
we uh, decided to skip on the 40 and we basically backed up to 50. My first shot, um, but you can see it hit pretty well center, a couple inches high, and that was shooting off the third, the third reticle down through the scope. So I guess I'm gonna have to stay with my second line down. So I guess the first would go zero to 30 and then 30 to 50 and then move up. But Sean's taking a shot now, so. 50 yards. Okay, you shot about an inch and a half low, dead center. So you're right below, I'm right above. Oh, it's bottled, isn't it? Oh, you're going for the bottom? Yeah. Oh, well, okay, you're about an inch high, dead center. <laughs> That's a good shot. That there's a dead deer. All right, we're going to go down range to check this out. We'll be right back. We'll be right back, y'all. All right, we're back. And uh, Sean's getting ready to take another shot here. And uh, I believe if he lines up with that last shot, it's time to put the bow away and be done with it until season. Hopefully we'll uh, get to go out this weekend and try our hand at a buck anyway. It's gonna have to be an awful big buck for me to shoot it though. But we're gonna find out, and by golly, is that a set of antlers in the ground right there, Sean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise I ain't walked over. But anyway, here he goes. Yeah, I was gonna go. He'll go one of these days. Yeah, it's a dead deer. He shot about that much. Uh, I want to say about an inch, inch and a half low. Yeah. Uh, that's this 50 yards, folks. That is a lot longer distance than most people realize. You think? I, was worry about I mean, that. it's uh, that's pretty darn quick. <laughs> and I really, really don't recommend shooting a deer at 50 yards try not to let her fly over 40. Mm. a lot of things can go wrong but let her fly. of course if it's a big well if it's a big body deer well gives you a little bigger target but we try to be as ethical as can be ready to take that 150 yard shot next time <laughs> uh, oh here we go I don't know where I'm at here. All right there. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is just all in fun. Yeah. Uh, I'll probably take one more shot. And then I think uh, we're gonna, I'm going to let Abby shoot here in just a moment. We're going to scoot up and let her shoot a couple times. For 20. And then uh, we're going to have a, a little breakdown on Chris's new bow. See what he says about it and stuff, and there's a lot of features that I'm just now noticing since I'm setting side of it, and, and uh, so yeah. we're letting him put one down range. Oh yeah, that bombs away. Oh, you was low. Uh, I felt it kind of slip. Oh, hey. I'm a meatball anyway. You usually don't want it, huh? Yeah, it happens. I'm all right. My it. bolt right there. Yeah. Let me go ahead and recock right fast. That was my bad, folks. That's I'm all right. That brain out. fart. 
had a brain fart. <laughs> it happens, especially to me. Start getting a little age on you, can't you? Yeah, I mean, get out of bed half time. What? You know what your daddy does? What? You know what your daddy does? No. He used to run crosshair. Yep. I certainly do. So he's up there plowing the ground with That's his arrow. Yeah. That is a first. I still hit the target. Those of you don't do that, we'll be all right. Over. Hey, I shot that deer, but I was just tagging him so I know how to shoot him next year. Oh, <laughs> see how he drove with broke toe. <laughs> all right, let's get this thing okay. back on here. All right, folks. Fifty yards. My bad. Let's not do that again. 50 yards. It's in there. Bulls up. Yep. That's actually uh, halfway down between second and third reticle. Exactly. So, heck, a lot better than the first shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, uh, how you can say, uh, Sorry, my brain ain't working. Mine never does. <laughs> so, I'm gonna fire one more. Okay. Just to make sure everything's good. Know where to aim and stuff, so. We're getting the itch, folks. Uh, it's that time of year. Then we're gonna put Abby up on the... The 20. 20, with and the old buyer intent. And she and we'll see what there, happens. Buddy. She's a she's deer hunt. <laughs> All right, folks, we're back for round 275. <laughs> Actually, let's put the road dog. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let, let, hold on a second. Let me zoom out for everybody. Oh, my gosh, there's a deer there. Look at that. Look at that buck. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see what we got here, buddy. All right, brother. What, what are you going for? Uh... We'll go for it. Right. All right, 50 yards, right target. You shot uh, a little to the right. I seen you flinch on that one. Yeah. You're about three inches to the right. If I'm up and down good, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean. Yeah, you're, you're, you're pretty well dead center as far as your up and down goes. That's the thing. So sometimes you, you just get to shooting like this, and first of all, we're getting to eat up with skeeters. Yeah. yeah. So it's hard to sit still. <laughs> yep. All right. No, answer my pants. <laughs> <laughs> all right, folks, we'll be right back. Uh, we're going to let Abby shoot a 10 year old daughter. She'll be shooting from 20. Get everything you need. Getting out of here ready to roll. Um, so what I'm gonna do is yep, get close to it. Don't worry. You get it where you need it, honey, okay? On the green, right? Yeah. You sit up there, remember how you were doing? Get on your knees and do it. Like kinda like daddy was doing. Alright. So, can you keep it good and steady like that? No, not Well, you just get it on that target. Pop, it's pop good. sight. Keep on fading away. Hold on a second here. There you go. Is that better? Big for us, what it is. The stock play I hear too much. Do I have to do it on the first line? Yes, the top line, remember? Just like you did yesterday, okay? I like to keep it. Get set. I don't think I can. Of course you can. Okay. 
take safety off. Pull the trigger only when you're ready, okay? Only when you're ready. On the green. Yeah. Okay. Try it again. Okay. There. Is that gonna recover better? Yeah. Okay. On the green circle, right? Only when you're ready. When you're ready. Oh, she's close. She hit low to the left. That time. Mm -hmm. Still doing pretty good though. Yeah. That'd be regardless. Well, I'd have to go grab the bolt. Now slowly squeeze the trigger. Don't don't jerk on it. Just keep on target and slowly squeeze the trigger when you're ready. Okay, get it back in. Man. Dead deer. That's almost in there. Oh uh, no. <laughs> Good job, Abby. Huh. That's almost perfect. All right. Yeah. Good job. Oh, she's about ready to hunt here. I'm going to get her something at 350. I hear uh, Well, we don't call the evening. I got to get up and go to work, and we got to gather up everything, and we got our gopher going after the arrows. Our gopher. But uh, anyways, uh, good luck during the velvet hunt. If you're out there in Tennessee, doing a buck hunt for velvet, and uh, we're getting ready, we're off and fired, ready to go. So if you like what you see, please hit the subscribe, like, and share button, and let's see if we can't uh, knock one down.